friends, today I am bringing you a keto grocery haul. I um, have been trying to minimize my spending, I'm trying to save money, I'm trying to invest money in the house instead of uh, in additional food. I already have a lot of food. So um, I just tried to get some things that I actually needed to make meals throughout the week. But I will go ahead and show you my grocery haul. So I got some red onions at a grocery outlet because this whole thing was $1.69. I think there's four red onions in here. I find the red onions at grocery outlet last a lot longer than the ones at Walmart, so I like to get them there. I got an unsweetened almond milk. I actually got two because I've been making my uh, collagen exogenous ketone mocha drinks. I wanted to try this. I probably will regret it. It's Cotton Candy um, Rockstar. Sorry, I know the lighting is bad. Zero carbs for the whole can. It does have 300 milligrams of caffeine, so I personally would only have half um, because I don't drink caffeine on a regular day basis. Anyways, um, I couldn't find regular mayo there from uh, Best Foods or Kraft, so I got this egg white dressing. It has less fat than regular mayo um, and a little higher on the carbs, but it does have less calories. So I'm going to try it. I'm just completely out of mayo, so I needed something. Then I got a couple beef sticks. I used to really like this Chef's Cut um, jerky. So this is a beef and pork uh, meat stick. This one does only have 2 grams of carbs, so I thought that was okay. And the whole stick is 100 calories. It's a pretty, pretty decent size. It's not like those mini ones. But then I also got this uh, Jack Link's Hot one. This is also two total carbs for the stick, 150 calories, and it's quite a bit bigger. I mean, this one's thicker, but um, this one is longer. So I got those just to try. I got a couple cream cheeses. I don't like this brand. It's kind of like, I don't know, sticky. It's not creamy, but I needed something, and I want to make a Jello dessert with a cream cheese. So I got two of those. They were $1.49. I got uh, some challenge butter. I'd prefer it to be in the individual blocks, but that's okay. So I got this one. It was $2.99, so I like challenge butter. I got more of my sausages for my slim downs. These are the ones that I typically use. Two total carbs in one link, 290 calories. I really like them. They're spicy and, and really good. I think these were $3.99. I found these little sour creams. I... Um, had to throw out the last uh, big sour creams I got because um, it went bad. It froze and then the consistency was just not the same. But um, anyways, this one is actually one net carb as well, or actually one total carb for two tablespoons, uh, just like daisies is. So I usually get daisies, but this one uh, is cool. And I liked that it was in the little containers. They were 99 cents each, so not terrible. Um, but this way I will not waste it. Eight ounces is a pretty good amount for me. I wanted to try a Thousand Island dressing. This is two total carbs for two tablespoons. So kind of just like the ranches that I get. So I wanted to try that. I got this avocado ranch chopped salad. Um, this one is six net carbs for a cup. But um, it does have corn in it which I'm obviously not going to use the corn or eat the corn um but it has an avocado ranch dressing that I like so I'm gonna have that probably this weekend I got two of these small containers of the holy guacamole I love the spicy one it is three total carbs one dietary fiber uh for two tablespoons so I really like this one. I've been wanting to get into uh, more beverages so that I don't overeat. So I saw this one. Um, I probably won't like it, so I only got one. The carbs and calories. So um, it's called Talking Rain. I'm really picky when it comes to sparkling water, so I only got one. I could always add a syrup to it or something. Then I wanted to give bacon another try. Last time I had bacon, uh, which was the carnivore diet, months ago. Um, I gained weight, so I kind of steered clear. But um, loving it on keto. Um, had a video where she was talking about bacon. 
she was saying that sometimes they have sugar and stuff. This actually doesn't have the ingredients, but it is zero carb. So I'm going to try it. I really miss bacon. So um, I'd like if I could eat it. These are the ends and bits or something like that. What is it? Ends and pieces. I actually like the ends and pieces because like the pieces of uh, bacon seem to be a bit thicker. It's more fatty uh, pieces as well. I actually really like it. I usually cook this in the oven and um, it's a lot less of a mess and I feel like it makes the bacon taste amazing. I found this bread at um, Grocery Outlet, which I've never seen that before, but I've heard of other grocery outlets having this. Um, Ashley from Oak Krogal has uh, eaten this in the past um, and I wanted to try it. So uh, this one is flaxseed. It is higher net carbs than Chompy's, but I just wanted to try it. It was $2.99, so um, they also use Vital Wheat Gluten. It feels a little bit harder on the outside. It's not quite as soft as Chompy's, but I got that one. And then I also got the low carb veggie and it has the same macros, six net carbs as well. So I wanted to try that out. Um, I was able to get some more of these beef ribs. I just kind of bit the bullet. Um, I think the price is more expensive than it used to be, but I got some more of these. I got three of them. They're just so tender. I really want to make Mongolian beef with it. So I got three of those. I got a 12-pack uh, of Diet Dr. Pepper. I want to be drinking more instead of eating more, so that's why I got that. I got these cacao nibs. I forget who I saw. I think it was Wendy again from Loving It on Keto um, who said she had cacao nibs in a drink. I forget if it was a smoothie or a coffee blend, but I want to add this to my mocha drinks um, that I have in the morning or in the evening to kind of fill me fill me up uh, so I eat less again. I've been struggling with overeating so I'm looking for anything that's gonna keep me satiated for an extended period of time. So it's only one net carb, 130 calories for one ounce. So I'm hopeful. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like, like cacao seeds. I don't know. It looks interesting, but I'm going to try blending it up and um, see if it adds a good flavor to my mocha drinks. Okay, so that's everything. So that's everything from Grocery Outlet. I think I spent like $70 or $80. Um, but then I also coincidentally got my order of Enlighten today. So this is their new uh, cheesecakes. The size is incredibly small. So small. It's itty bitty. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, but um, that's what the container looks like. This is the strawberry one. Strawberry one's here. Not even close to what the picture looks like, but um, I'm going to try that. Um, cheesecake just kind of sounded good. I think I'm going to make a cheesecake of my own because I think these were $8 each and this I would not pay $4 for again, pretty much no matter how good it is because I can make my own cheesecake. I don't know, but I wanted to try it. So I'll definitely do a ketone test on these as well. Let me know if you're interested in a ketone test so I can prioritize. I did try these already. These are super good. They have a cheesecake taste to them, um, but it definitely reminds me of cookie dough. I thought they tasted really good. It's like a cheesecake cookie dough. This is the macros on it. So two and a half servings in this bag. I would say that's that's a little... That's saying a little much because it's, it's only half full, but um, a nice different kind of treat. The macros on these cheesecakes, whoa, 220 calories for that little thing? Oh my goodness. Anyways, they have allulose in them, so uh, it's two net carbs. I can't believe it's 220 calories. Wow, this little thing. Anywho, so I got the chocolate chip uh, cookie dough bites. And I got peanut butter as well. So I'll have that in a product review as well. Let me know which ones you're interested more in seeing, the cookie dough or the um, cheesecake. Um, let me know if you're interested in seeing any of them. Depending on feedback, I will kind of bump up these compared to other things I'm gonna test. But yep, that's what I got from Enlightened.